Joining me now with their insights on all of this are Jennifer Koffendoffer, a former FBI special agent with 28 years in the business of federal law enforcement, and Mark Garagos, trial attorney, criminal defense attorney, co-host of the podcast Beyond a Reasonable Doubt, alongside Adam Carolla. Okay, you two. Jennifer, I'm going to start with you. Uh, we've all just been reading these very quickly in the last hour. What stands out to you? Well, what stands out to me is the Brady Giglio situation, but I don't think it's anything that really should raise everybody's eyebrows too much. Basically, so wait, wait, it's a formal term, Brady Giglio. You understand it. People who have a law background, Garagos understands it. But the general population will wonder what is Brady I'm, Giglio and way, what's in the document way, recommending my, that. By the way, my oh, dogs are named Brady and Giglio. I want you to know that. <laughs> okay. so. I do not doubt that. I do not. So, Jennifer, with now, um, with that as just the, the, the halt, um, explain what that is, why there's a Brady and Giglio issue at all in these documents. So Brady is essentially any information that is exculpatory. So exculpatory could be information that would help the defense's case or hurt the prosecution's case. And again, I'm talking just in layman's terms. That is the best ex explanation regarding exculpatory. When you're talking about Giglio evidence, you're talking about evidence that is unfavorable or could show lack of credibility on a witness. That all has to be turned over to the defense. So. These are the two areas that we're talking about, and this is what's being raised. But remember, it's being raised by the prosecution. They're coming forward and saying, listen, we have an officer that might have these issues, and we want full disclosure here, and that's what you would expect. Okay, so uh, this is where Garagos, I think you should come in and tell me, I'm going to quote again, what's in that, Brady, and gig or jig, giglio or jiglio? Uh, I've heard it both well, ways from I both call, of you. Which, I call which is the it? dog jig, I call the dog jiglio, so I'm going to say, and his nickname is jig, so that's, I'm sticking okay. with it. Okay, all right, so in that, there is a quote, a confidential internal affairs investigation and an officer involved in the case, and all of a sudden my head is going to... OJ, where the defense seized on policing and attacked policing in any way they could, and it stuck with that jury. What are you seeing when you see that quote? I had the exact same thing when I was texting with your producer. I was going to, and she was asking about it. I was going to type, think Mark Furman, because if you've got, and to Jennifer's point, if it was just something that would impeach his credibility, that would generally be Jiglio. Um, if it is something that is potentially exculpatory, then that is Brady. And they called this Brady material, which leads me to believe that it's an accusation that this is something that has either been falsified or there's an investigation as to whether he's falsified. I, you normally see this with other complaints about excessive force and things like that. So I've kind of ruled that out and focused in on the other area that we generally see, which is somebody has said some that a officer has filed either a false police report or has testified falsely. There's an internal affairs investigation. That would be Brady material, especially if it was an officer who was an affiant on one of these warrants or an officer who collected some kind of evidence uh, during one of these searches. So, so, Jennifer, how does this work? We're in the middle of this, right? Nothing has been public. There's no trial. There's very, very little information to go on. How are we already at an internal affairs investigation involving an officer in the case? Who would have spoken up? Who would have pointed him or her out? How are we already there? Well, it's really important to point out that I don't believe this has anything to do with something that this officer has done connected with the Idaho investigation. This would be something that was done previously, something that was pointed out or that he was under IA investigation for internal affairs investigation for previously. So if this is a very important distinction to make that there is no accusation that we know of that he's done anything that would be a Brady Giglio offense regarding this case per se. And I, oh, say, I would so Garagos, jump in with that and tell me, are you are right. they trying to say like, oh, there's an officer who had something on, you know, the files that should have been turned over to the defense because it's how it's the officer's MO prior to this whole crime happening? Is that what this is about? 
Well, normally what you see now with kind of the advent of, uh, of, of different or the, the cases is you will see what are called Brady databases or Brady disclosures, where the prosecutors, when they find out that an officer has something in his past, whether it's an IA investigation or whether uh, sometimes you'll, you'll see where uh, if you sue an officer and you get a judgment and he, for, for some particular reason, that has to be disclosed. So uh, I would agree that it does not necessarily mean that it's an IA investigation in the Idaho case. However, if it is in a prior case, um, and that is generally what the what this is in a Brady disclosure, uh, that can potentially be used in this case. And the reason that they can potentially use it is because they can cross-examine on it. They could ask other witnesses as to what happened. And just like you can use, uh, Ashley, we've talked many times about uh, 1101 or 404 uh, type evidence of a modus operandi or identification to bring in other acts. You can do this in reverse with officers. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.